quality. And I'm going to start out, what I want to do is graph the corresponding equation, y equals the square root of x minus 4 plus 2. But I know that I need to find excluded values. And I know that x minus 4 must be greater than or equal to 0 since I don't want to have a negative radicand. I need to have values in the radicand that are 0 or greater. If I add 4 to both sides, I find that the domain is that x must be greater than or equal to 4. So I'm going to plot points accordingly. And I know that x can be 4. That's the smallest value I can give it. 4 minus 4 is 0. Square root of that is 0. Plus 2 gives me 2. OK. Looking for perfect squares. A perfect square, you know, if I have 1, I can easily get the square root of that. So if I let x be 5 and I subtract 4 from that, I'm going to get 1. The square root is 1 plus 2 gives me 3. Um, let's see. Another perfect square is 4. So I'm going to let x equal 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. The square root of that is 2 plus 2 is 4. Perfect square, uh, another one would be 9. So I'm going to let x equal 13 because 13 minus 4 is 9. The square root of that is 3. Add 2 to that, that gives me 5. So I have some values that I can plot out. And I'm going to use a solid line because this inequality is greater than or equal to. It's not a strict inequality. So when x is 4, y is 2. And that's the start of my graph. I can't define this function for values less than, um, less than 4. OK, when x is 5, y is 3. When x is 8, then y is 4. And when x is 13, y is 5. So right about there. OK, and this is a solid line that I'm going to use. And the graph begins here. Now, this is an inequality, and I need to figure out where my, which, which side of this boundary line the solution sets, set is. And I know that I'm not going to worry about values over here, just ones for x is greater than or equal to 4. So I'm going to go ahead, and I don't want to pick a point on the boundary line, but I, and 0, 0 is not even part of this graph at all. So I'm going to go ahead and pick 5, 0. 5, 0, test point. OK, so test point. 5, 0 for y is greater than or equal to x minus 4 plus 2. So when y is 0, let's see if this holds true. 5 minus 4 plus 2. So is 0 greater than the square root of 1 plus 2? Is 0 greater than or equal to 1 plus 2? Is 0 greater than or equal to 3? No, it is not. So the test point is not part of the solution set. This is not part of the solution set. So what I need to do is shade in this region of the graph above the boundary line, being careful not to go over here because that is not part of the graph. Those are not defined areas. OK. so. To find this, the graph of this inequality, I graph the corresponding equation, first finding excluded values, that values that were less than 4 are excluded, then using values that are allowed to plot points, and then using a test point and finding that my test point is not part of the solution set down here, so I went ahead and shaded it up there. So that concludes this lecture for educator.com, and thanks for visiting.